All right. Well, hello, everybody, again. Uh, welcome to the nitty-gritty of how to download and what, what to do. Uh, most of this is going to be pretty self-explanatory, but I just wanted to cover a few things and and how to uh, install it. Um, now, some of you may uh, not have a DAW or have, have been exposed to a DAW, so this is really sort of a, a beginner's quick start. Um, if you've already had uh, experience with the DAW, you have a DAW installed, uh, some of this may be just, um, you know, rudimentary, but uh, pl please watch it because there's some things that you might be surprised with. For the sake of ease, and there's a reason why I'm choosing Reaper, Reaper has a fully functional 60-day um, uh, trial, and I think you can continue to use it after that, but, you know, pay for your software. So here goes. And what I've done is I've created a Dropbox with a lot of these files that are in it. And the links will be in this description. So here we go. You can get it from the, the manufacturer or you can just come to the Dropbox and click the download. The links will be there. And you click it. Download it. We're going to put it on the desktop. And this is the Mac install version. All right. Um, after this, we'll have the PC install. So we open it. We agree to the terms. And it puts the... And we can drag and drag it over there. It is already installed, but I'm going to drag and put those there. And... We're going to go ahead and, in this instance, replace those and put our password in. All right, we can close that now and we will open the applications folder and we will locate Reaper 64. And at this point is when I drag and drop it. Let's put it here. All right. Second thing you want to do is you want to log into your account at line six. It's line six forward slash software. <clears throat> now, uh, there's probably a link that you will get to download. Um, I don't. I have a diff little bit, slightly different access. Um, as you can see, I'm a special user. Yay! Um, so when I hit go, it will bring me to uh, Helix Native version 1.0, and it's got some known issues. You want to take and read those. Um, and you want to get the download. And if you're on a, a PC, you want to make sure that you do something similar, but we'll get to that in a minute. And I'm going to put this on my desktop. Something to consider when using, uh, I think, Ableton. Um, it's either Ableton and um, Reason. You'll want to make sure you click uh, to install VST2 and not VST3. But other than that, we're going to stick with uh, the installation as for Reaper. So we got it. We click the double click on the uh, native plugin. And we hit continue. 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 You could probably read those licenses, but you have to agree to it to install anyway. Install in the location, put the password in. Done. Okay. At this point, we can close this window. 
and we can go ahead and open Reaper. Yes, we say it's okay to open. And what we want to do with uh, Reaper here, and I find Reaper, you know, usable, but, you know, it's uh, a lot of these icons, you know, you have to hover over. But um, basically what you want to do is you want to start with a new track. So we insert the track. And uh, you go over here and you activate the record arm when you want to when you want to hear what's going on but first off you will click on the FX and you'll notice the window pop up and we're going to be in you can either be in AU which I believe line 6 helix as an audio unit or a VST3 well let's choose an audio unit on a Mac and we hit OK your point it's going to ask you to log in to your username and password and then it will show this screen uh, but you'll notice you have your input and output meters and so now if you want to uh, monitor this you need to click this little icon right here now that's going to monitor everything that's going on and let's go ahead and go to an empty uh, preset. Nothing there. Alright. When you click this button, it should activate. But remember one thing. What it's going to want to do is you're going to want to um, go into some options on Reaper. And you see this little 48, 24 bit, 128 with an 8. eight six or 7.3 millisecond you're going to want to audio device settings go there and your my input device is uh, the line 6 helix rack I've requested 48,000 and 128 um, uh, block size so you know your independent settings are going to change but that's really important and my output device is my firehawk 1500 so it's really pretty easy you just get it all set up and uh, you can have your ins and outs and you can hear them testing one two three so let's go ahead and add something dramatic like a stereo ping pong. Hello. Ta da. La la la. Okay, you see it works. Um, we could get into more in depth, but I'm using this present microphone to come through and get all of this. So we'll have more videos on how to use this uh coming later but the installation of this on a mac it's done it's relatively simple so now let's do the same procedure on the pc now the pc that's a little different and when you when you go to the link you'll want to uh, have the link that, to the pc files and we're going to load azio for all 2.14 and you click that, and you, you download that file. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put it right on the desk. Oh, no, we're just going to, we're going to put it right on the desktop. <clears throat> and we back up. And we also download Reaper right on the desktop. And it won't show up on my desktop because I've hidden all the thousands of 
icons. So we wait for the download. Da, 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 da. ASIO for all is done. So we will click that and install. I use Google Chrome because it makes it really easy. You just click the links that are downloaded in the bottom. Next, accept the terms, next. And I leave those settings alone. Next, next. Finish. And then Reaper is done and we will install it the same way. Agree. Next, yes, install. All right, so what you want to do is you want to when you download the file, you'll want to make sure that you accept and download. <clears throat> Make sure there's nothing running in the background. We save the file. Now I use uh, Google Chrome because it'll put your download right here so that when it's done downloading, you'll be able to click it when it's done and it will run. And if you're using Ableton, <coughs> if you're using Ableton or Reason, you'll want to click this and unclick this. But uh, we're using Reaper, and so we will continue with it like that. Click Next and Finish. <clears throat> you can close your browser at this point. And we will open Reaper 64. All right, again, the same, same scenario you want to take. And um, first off, let's go ahead and set up and what you want to do is you want to choose the ASIO system. We've already installed ASIO. ASIO for all. And I'm using the audio box, but I'm going to choose ASIO for all. And it's going to take the first USB audio input from, from there. I've requested the uh, sample rate of 48,000 and 512. And I go to the ASIO configuration. And I use this, and I make sure it's audio box five. We turn those off. We are only going to use the audio input from the audio box live at 256 samples. And we close this. And we hit OK. And you'll notice that it's 48K, 24-bit, uh, two channels, 256 SPLS and a six millisecond, um, uh, six millisecond a six millisecond latency, which is virtually immediate. So, uh, and then again, you just add the track and you hit F, FX. We go to VST3, and you'll see the Helix is there. We hit OK. Boom. There it is. Okay, it's that simple, guys. It's that simple. Um, it's It's working. It's easy. If you have any questions... Again, um, like and subscribe and share. Uh, I really appreciate the time you've spent here today. And, uh, okay, stay tuned for part four where we talk about automations because it's one of the cooler 
features of um, Helix Native. And um, for the need to make a smaller video, I'm only going to show it on the Mac. It's it's easier. The, f the functions are virtually identical between the two if you're using um, Reaper. So have a great day. Uh, see you in the next video.